How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to properly open a business bank account through AirWallex. So without further ado, let's have a read it. So to actually do this um, would be a two-step process. One, uh, the first being um, an online registration and the second one being a face-to-face -face meeting with the bank. Now, um, a couple of key things to remember here is that um, you would need um, a lot of the prerequisite documents that you need to actually open an account through uh, on Airwallex. So th this per uh, these pertain to a proof of ID for all named company directors. So this can either be in a uh, passport, a national ID, or a driver's license set uh, with your photo on it. Next, a proof of address, which you can uh, use as a recent bank statement or utility bill or a council tax statement. Next one, you would need a uh, full business name and as well as the contact details so um you have to have the contact information set up for your business as well as the name now next the company's house registration number um and next estimated annual turnover uh, assuming you've done all of the uh, mathematics and whatnot and in some cases your personal financial history to actually confirm that you have clean credit and a banking record so you would be eligible for uh, opening an account at airwallix now, once you have all of these out of the way, it's time to create an account. So you're going to create an account on Airwallex. We're basically going to sign up and we're going uh, to go through their online registration to actually uh, set up an appointment with the actual bank. <clears throat> so it even goes on to say that uh, following online the online registration, in most cases, you will st still need to do a face-to-face -face meeting with your bank to allow you to open an, an account with them. So they'll ask you to provide all of the necessary business information listed above and photo ID and all of the uh, name directors of your business. So the bank will also need to have a face to face meeting with your company's uh, with your company's UK representative in order to sign a bank mandate that allows you oh, that enables your company to open an account. So once you've have had all of the necessary meetings and filled out all the necessary paperwork as said as uh, said so here, you should be good to go. And um, this is actually a, uh, a bit of a long process because they would have to do a couple of uh, background checks and um, verify that everything is legit. But when you do that, um, you guys should be good. So basically, all you, um, the important things to have are all these listed here. So yeah, um, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, uh, be, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.